Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 in our Ryazan to Russia campaign. We have formed Russia. We've knocked off our first, uh, well, goal achievement y thing. So we just need to get Breaking the Yoke and Kinslayer now to finish all our objectives. And apparently, we might even get a few other things while we're at it. We'll, we'll have to see. So let's take a look here and see what else we've got. In fact, In fact, it looks like we actually lost all the missions of uh, the old one. So we didn't miss that 100 free military points and perhaps some other things. But, you know, I, I, I think I think that's okay. Let's see. Have 100% of our force limit and this gives us a bunch of claims. Not that we really need those claims at this point, to be honest, but it does let us get other other missions here. But you know, now that I think about it, that old game where uh, Muscovy formed Russia first might have actually been better because then we could have, well, no, because by the time we would have conquered all of Russia, the campaign would have been over. But then we could have, I was sort of thinking how we could have ended up getting like a bunch of extra mission y things here. Uh, need a church in, or 20 owned provinces with a church or a basilica. Really? Do I not have... Do I just not have that? Apparently the answer is no, I do not. Well... I mean... We could build more churches. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Eleven, twelve... I mean, we'd have to build a lot of churches and do those, do the missions go down and end up actually really, I mean, cost of reducing war exhaustion. We also get the Russian Orthodox Church declares independence, which I guess could be useful. Hmm. I guess we'll see how that plays out. So this just gives us claims and also lets us kind of build stuff down. So let's, let's go for it. Permanent claims, don't really need that. This gives us lowered unrest and greater missionary strength in a bunch of areas that I believe are all already, uh... Yeah, we've converted already. This also does not really do anything for us. And what does this do? Tolerance of the true faith, which... I don't, I don't think is terribly useful, but, you know, it, it's something. So let's see here. All provinces in Kazan, Volga, Kama, and Samara. Samara, Volga, and Kama. I mean, these aren't bad missions. They're just not necessarily missions that I'm terribly concerned about. Man, I should have finished off those last, or the, uh, yeah. Oh, well, live and learn. I'm going to have to go to war with Denmark over some of this land now, aren't I? Unless Muscovy is able to turn this around. Danish conquest of Piskov. This province right here. Oh, maybe I should have tried to take this. I considered it, but then I ultimately didn't. And when can I go to war with you again? In 94. You are still being guaranteed by Muscovy, but surely Muscovy isn't going to join and help you at this point. Oh yeah, I don't think I have the missions over. I should have finished those missions first. I feel like a bit of an idiot now. Oh wow. But you know, that's uh that's life, I guess. Now, if I go with Cleansing of Heresy, I can just take all their lands and not have to pay any Diplo points. Which is probably worth it. Yeah, bump that up just a little bit more. And do I get to keep these claims forever? I do. Alright, permanent claim. So, I guess we might as well just 
do it. Because what else are we doing with our time? Not a whole lot. And you know what? I'll bring over one more guy. Poor Muscovy. I almost feel bad for them. Also, I guess while I'm at it, might as well, uh... Yeah, just... Mark all of this as being of vital interest to me. Wow. That's a lot of claims. What are the odds that Denmark is gonna just accept those claims and leave me alone? And not take it? Probably not terribly great. And we'll worry about the ever stuff later. Because, yeah, we still have a whole bunch of years before it is time. So. Yeah, I'll go with this showing superior. Poor Muscovy. Oh, well. Alright, down you go. And I guess, yeah, there is no point in leaving these guys just to drill. You're also guaranteeing Kazan, right? So I think I'll wait until life is good and then I'll maybe try to take all of Muscovy's money again. Oh, you've got a, a siege leader, so you can go over there. And let's let's be smart now. And we'll only have the minimum stack size we need, except right here, just because I'm trying to scare these guys away. Alright. Oh, and Poland didn't join. That was a smart move, Poland. Very smart move. Oh boy, we're good. Hmm. Well, I guess... I guess things are great. Oh, we need an 11. I don't recall that being how that worked in the past, but apparently it is. So, here we are. How much money do you have? Are you worth going over there? I mean, given how much money we have, the answer is probably no. But, eh, I'll do it. Oh wow, that was fast. I have showed superiority, right? I have, good. What I like to see. And it feels really good when you get to that point in the campaign where you are basically unstoppable. Uh, you can gather back over there. It is really, really good. What? Something was being sieged. You know what? Let's not worry about it. And... What? Oh. For centuries, the Tartars have been raiding our settlements, leading to the construction of a defensive line along the steppe border. The Abadis line is a system of fortresses and garrisons intended to stop any raid from getting very far beyond the steppe. As soon as there is a gap in the system, however, there is a risk of Tartar raids penetrating our borders. A recent raid at Sirizin has penetrated our defenses and left unprotected settlements devastated. Jeez. I assume that's a unique Russian event. Interesting. And I'll just kind of wander on in there. Alright, so that basically takes care of that. And I guess the only other thing I need to do at this point is get 100% war school or... No, 100% force limit. So what does that look like? That, that looks kind of... kind of big. Though, I could totally... Do that. Yeah, and you guys all gather in there. Okay, well. Life is looking good for us, I think. 
I mean, Muscovy is losing this war, but it does look like it's a relatively close fight. Siege of Vilnius, we've capped out our military points. Really developing a lot of provinces around here. That's not a bad thing. And let's see here. Armies. That's good. That's good. You know I'm going to bump one more into... Oh, wait. Why am I doing that? I could be putting it in here. Oh, right. It's almost tech time. And in fact, it looks like we are going to tech up just in time for uh, basically spending all of our power in advance of the uh, global trade. Ooh, there's, we're starting to see higher level forts here. Interesting. Let's start sending everyone over to the borders of Kazan. Because that is, of course, going to be our next big... Big target of attack. And, and Muscovy again, of course. I mean, I guess another 20 stack wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, you are moving in the right general direction. Alright. And yet again... Some uh, gross incompetence on my part, I would say. Okay. Can you uh, hurry up and siege this out? Maybe that was a waste. I mean, just like it's a waste of manpower to have all that sitting there like, Oh, what is this? Taking all my land, will ya? I think not. I worked hard to siege that land. Yeah, Muscovy is definitely getting wrecked. Let's have a look here. Rivals and allies. Muscovy's got 79,000. Uh, oh yeah, Denmark's not one of our allies anymore. Uh, okay. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark. They've also still got Sweden separately, but let's just look at Denmark's main... In terms of raw numbers, Muscovy should be able to fight this back. But whether they actually... Nope. Oh, yeah, well, that, yeah, they're holding in there. Yeah, once the new year comes around, I guess we'll just... I'll go off the corruption. I think we can afford it. Man, we have a lot of money. Okay, there we go. January. So, bada de boop, bada de boop, bada de boop. And we still have four years. So, this is actually the perfect time when you think about it to be in this situation. And also, let's have these guys drill just to keep their drill at maximum uh, drilliness. Yeah, maximum drilliness. Ooh, they lost the fight. Austria declared war on somebody. I mean, I really don't need this money. But I do like the idea of having this money. So close. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, break that off. I don't even want anything from these guys. I just want their money. And I don't even need their money. I'm just taking it because I can, because I'm apparently evil or something. Hmm. It is tempting to take this. But I'll hold back for now. Oh boy. Bill won't peace out, huh? Stubborn as ever. And you know what? We'll, uh, yeah, break a few more things just for the trivial extra prestige it'll give us, which we don't even need. I'm just taking because I can. 
as a demonstration of my power. Which is, of course, what you do, naturally. Alright, everyone who can drill is drilling right now. And can I... Oh yeah, that's right, we've got this whole fabricate claim on area thing, which is so cool. Or we could sabotage their recruitment. I don't think anything changed hands. I mean, I don't even really want any claims on anything they've got. Could fabricate a area claim on Moldavia. Last for 25 years. We'll just hold on to that for now, because again, I don't think I want to fight the Ottomans. I could, but I won't. Also wondering if this campaign's gonna last. Like, is there a chance that the League War... Actually, did the League War happen and I just didn't notice? There's a part of me that wonders if that's the case. Alright, let's eat this. And then, of course, the stuff that we have claims on, or not. And... Oh, we're actually straight full 100%. Okay, good. Masterfully done. Dilno is really expensive. Which, I guess, makes sense. And, of course, we'll get rid of the fort because... Gaming by Gaslight doesn't believe in forts. Alright. You still guaranteeing Kazan? You are. Good, good. Cleansing of heresy against Denmark. I don't really want to fight Denmark right now. I mean, I don't even know if I want to ally them, though. We'll leave it. I might get to a point where I just don't even bother with the fort there. What is this? The ruler of Bohem- Wait, what? Denmark has rivaled me. Uh... Excuse me? Let's see. Bohemia is a junior partner of Austria. You know what? I, I'm not going to contest that. You can have it. Because it helps contain the Ottomans. And isn't that what this is all about at the end of the day? And, you know, Denmark, if you want to do that, fine. I'll just be friends with Austria instead. You want to be my friend? Oh, I am allied to Austria. I actually forget when that happened. But apparently that is something that happened at some point. So... Good, I guess? All right, let's see. I mean, I, yeah, you know what, I'm going to take that. Just because. And I suppose I shouldn't go to war for four years, because global trade and all that jazz, but... Mm. Diplomatic insult. God, I have so much money. So much money, I don't even know what to do with it. So I'll just kind of keep on building things. Let the wheels of industry one more. And then let's just let our money tick up. God, we're so amazingly overpowered. No one can stop us now. Nobody. But yeah, let's not let's not get too cocky just yet. So let's get up let's get close to our force limit. More cannons. Alright. God, we could take so much land. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. That worked out nicely. Hmm. Yeah, they, I mean, they are still guaranteeing Kazan. Would you actually defend them? You would not, because you are massively, massively in debt. Right. In that case, I'm not going to cause you any more problems. Do you have any claims I could press? You have some claims on the Ottomans. 
All right, we're just going to sit here and be peaceful for now, I guess. Though, I mean, we could go to war against Denmark for some reason. I don't know why, but we could. All right, still making oh, heaps and heaps of money. Uh, what is that? Like 40 free? 40 free more guys? Oh, that's like two stacks. Damn, we're amazing. I, I, I don't have the words, really. Oh, I wish I had been paying attention over there. What are the odds that these rebels ever actually spawn? Pretty good, actually. But then again, I could just use this and slap them down. I'll save that for later. Great advisor has died. All right, well, with that in mind, we can... No, we can't. Unless... I mean, seven ducats. You, you don't say no to that. You don't say no to seven ducats. That's only a madman says no to seven ducats. Yeah, I guess I kind of leave this for now. All right, that's, that's good enough. I am happy with where we are. We have won. We have demonstrated that we are truly the greatest of all time. We've basically got all the rewards for this era, so that's also a plus. I think I am just going to sit on that. Okay. And there goes Pomerania. I do kind of regret not eating all of this, but oh well. I mean, prestige is nothing at this stage of the game. We just go to war with someone and we gain a whole bunch of prestige, so, you know. Not really much to worry about there. Building some cores, making some buildings. All right, this, this is going to be good. Uh, I'll go with that. Yeah, sure, you can have access. Why not? I'll be kind, because you're kind of separated right now. Into You've been partitioned into like three different pieces. I feel horrible for you, because it's my fault this happened. Okay. All right, so yeah, that is likely to spawn. Are you also Lithuanian or? No, you're Volhynian. All right, let's, let's send our army over. I actually think, let's make, oh, that's too big. Let's say, I don't know, 14, four and eight. Never 12 ducats in maintenance. We'll also, we'll call this army too. It's still too expensive for right now, I think. Yeah, still too expensive for right now. That will be something we do something with at some future point. Tell one of you to come over here, didn't I? Apparently not. And... Alright, we do have a couple of places to convert. Wow, Vilno is really expensive. Oh, wait, you know what? No, I don't I don't have access to more states. Right. I have all the states I can possibly afford to state. Austria has declared war on What's Austria declaring war on Lithuania for? Conquest of Barasta. Oh, they act dang, they actually touched that. That's gonna create really awkward borders. Possibly. Yeah. I mean, they might still they might still take this, but since I've marked it as being of vital interest, maybe they'll leave it alone. And one of our generals just died. Which is always a bad thing. But not the worst thing.
And it is time to say goodbye again, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.